think about that, like how long we've known each other yeah. and this stuff has never really come up in some ways that's positive. Cause we just, you know, hang out, have a good time, talk about a whole myriad of things, but haven't had to discuss this, but the fact that this came up now, it, yeah. again, it was really enlightening. Um, just to, to get your, you know, your perspective, I really didn't know. I'm, I'm kind of ashamed to say I didn't well, like have but, your, but that's, yeah. But I think like sharing pain and trauma doesn't come naturally until there's a reason it's, you know, that's not what hanging out is about usually. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, and, and even I, I feel like that's the thing though, is like one thing I will say is like, over the years, like, I, I have often wondered, like, you know, as long as we've known each other and as long as we've known our friends and we still don't know so much of kind of the emotional trauma or pain that happens to them. Well, it's that, interesting, too, that we've known each other so long and then to really yeah. only now basically have these discussions, right? So yeah. when people, you know, when I hear, like, you know, why can't, not just why can't we if people just get along, but like, you know, when, when people are sort of trying to figure out like, why are these conversations, why is it so hard to find like common ground, especially now with these things? Yeah. It's like, we've known each other forever. We're super tight friends, right? We talk about anything. And yet this is just, I mean, imagine like going in cold with someone and then trying to take like, I mean, take, you can't take politics out of it for a lot of people, but like, it's just this, yeah. You know, and I think I, I I would certainly hope that it wouldn't, you know, take people like decades of friendship to have these guys that, you know, we don't have that kind of time. But like it's I can imagine how it's hard to move the needle in a good direction with without having like all these like shared bonds. I feel like the part of the having a friendship that goes like almost 30 years, 30 years. Um it's like there's a trust that it, it it's like i think that's a lot of it is just that that you know there's trust that it's not going to be even if we vehemently disagree about something that it's not going to be um enough to um you know break a friendship us talking through this stuff and really getting into a lot more deeper stuff over the last year it's really given me um like a really important viewpoint from someone that I know is, you know, a hundred percent, like I can trust. And that's been a real eye opener. I mean, that's, that's hundred percent. If we had not, I mean, if I hadn't known you, I, I don't know that I would have known these stories. You know what I mean? Like even my buddies from college, we didn't have these kinds of discussions and as in depth, but we knew each other well, but not quite this well and stuff. And, um, it's really, it's been, a huge eye opener, but to know, to know you like probably has helped me like digest it better, I guess. And like relate to it more, I guess, too, if that makes sense. I feel lucky. I, I do. And not just because, um, I think anyone who is, you know, in their mid forties is still friends with good friends with people from high school should feel, but it really is like, uh, yeah, it, it was like a, a breathing space, you know, it's like, and I never would have told you guys that I don't think I could have verbalized it that way. But I think like, there's just like, just to be able to hang out and just be myself to your guys's detriment sometimes. Uh, <laughs> it's like, that's, that's huge, because I I was just so confused and angry and bewildered by the experience of, you know, of growing up there you know and so the fact that we can that i can share this stuff honestly you know that's just built on years of dialogue and trust 